Right, 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 right in front, right in front of me, right in front of me. Big one. You're right on him. You're right on him, big one. Got him. Fish? Yep. There and get your nectar, boy. Nectar. I'll come back in a minute. Playing with fire here this morning. Going for my third bowl of chili for the trip. We made this elk and venison chili last night. Mm. Warmed it up, warms the soul in the morning, but man, it warms that lower unit up as well. Right now, we are sitting pretty far up the river, kind of completely different territory, exploring some new water and seeing if this is going to be uh, similar, if we need to stay with the tactics of the swim baits, uh, all of that A-rig, clear water stuff, or, uh, or is there some more classical, you know, spender baits, crank baits, things like that going on, but we're going to try it all. I had all this brilliant narrative talk in my head, and then when I st turn on the camera, it just all went to. Uh, that's uh, I feel like the older I get, the more I do this, the harder it is for me to talk in front of <laughs> Is that? Do you find that that's the case too? Um, I trip up so I've been tripping up so much. I trip up a lot, man. I redo things like four or five times sometimes. Exactly. The same. I want it to be as good as it sounded in my head. Exactly. I had the music to it. And I then had... once you talk, you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> it's I sound like, like an that idiot. didn't sound anything like that. <laughs> yeah, no, it just sounded like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, playing executive producer in my head as I <laughs> screw things up. Okay, folks, never, never used a umbrella rig. It is a giant pain in the rear. So you rig up up. sunset. Yeah, I, I mean, this is probably something we should have done at night, but I, when I'm at the camper, dude, it's camp time. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm cooking chili. You know, I'm, I'm making the night's DVD selections. So the m most typical weight you're going to use is an eighth ounce weight. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when you start adding all these weights together, they get a little hefty. Plastics for the people. This is... Uh, 3.8 saucy. You, I already heard you say, oh my gosh, so what's going on? I'm an absolute giant already? Yeah. Are you tight? Yeah. Very important when you're rigging up any kind of little swim bait. Make sure that your swim baits are in line. Everything looks good. You don't have any crimps in your tails. Once you're done emptying your wallet on all the necessary... <laughs> Components of A-Rating, 25 pound test, high quality fluorocarbon. It's better to have a good stiff long rod to handle all the ounces that you're going to be throwing. The baits themselves, the umbrellas are quite expensive. you got all the jig heads. Um, yeah, then you want to make sure you don't lose it. We're about 15 minutes later. Um, I'm gonna get my 
get my first cast in here in a second. I got one more jig head I gotta rig on. John has already hooked up, caught two in one cast. Imagine two yesterday with those tens. Could you imagine they two? They break it. You think? Oh, they break it. You'd have to be real slow. Tugging against each other on these wires? Yeah, that's true. They have to absolutely break it. There it is. Yeah, that reels a little. Oh, okay. that's the drag. I don't know how to. Hold on. Oh, wow. Well. First cast. <laughs> Literally landed on top of one. coming back. Dude, this looks crazy. The next full moon I'm coming back here. <clears throat> just going up shallow for a little restroom break break and uh just looking up in this this what's uh what's great about this lake is it's got so much cover that I think that it is going to really help this bass population stay uh stay alive from all the live scoping. A lot of narration in there, alliteration, whatever. But uh, there's uh, there's so much brush in the water, and it's similar to lakes that have a ton of grass that you're just not you're just not gonna be able. <laughs> Dude, I had to poop so bad. <laughs> you're just you're just not gonna be able to target these fish. You're just gonna be, reach a certain point where. You just can't peer through all this stuff with the scope. So these fish will have somewhere to hide at least for another year or so until the water really comes down. But 100%, I want to come back here when there's uh, another full moon when it's a little warmer and come up here in this river and, and do some flipping and really get down and dirty up close with them instead of, you know, long casting, doing the whole live scope thing. It's how, how to catch the big ones right now, but it's also... Um, you know, it's just different. It's like, John. I gave an analogy to John yesterday, and he he liked it, so I'll, I'll give it here. Is it's like deer hunting with four or five hundred yards away with a high caliber rifle. I'm so sorry, dude. <clears throat> it's like deer hunting, like four or five hundred yards away with a high caliber rifle versus bow hunting up close, like a deer walking right under your tree or in front of your blind. It's a whole different experience. So um, there's there's great things about both. But anyway, we're gonna uh, switch it up. Probably go down south. I think up in the river it's a little too cold right now. Haven't really got many bites. Really seen much. So we're gonna go back down and see if we can get it going down there. Wow, there's a that's a healthy size. That's a good one. Oh, there she goes. Probably about a high six. <laughs> Look at Absolutely that. Absolutely gone. That's the kind we want. Yeah, gone. Swim bait, gone. Look at the mouth, how small it is. It's a young fish, but he's very big. Holy cow. I'm going to say six. There's one in the brush. Good one. See him kicking around. There's a couple. System scanning. Scanning. Scanning for largemouth. Watch those fish by the band. They seem so smart. There's but, so oh, I thought you were saying the, the brush was worn down. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we got oh, it. I did. Oh, God, I thought I felt a bump, shit. dude. That was a fish, wasn't it? He's come back, he's come back, he's yep. come back. He's come back. Keep it going. Yeah. He's right on you. I thought I felt a bump. <laughs> I don't know. fish, though. <laughs> I thought it was, uh, I thought it was the brush because yeah. I could see it on the grass, but... Yeah. Well, a couple follows. Oh, a couple swallows. That's the way the day is going. You on? Doesn't look too buried. Got it. That's always a good win feeling when you when you bring back your eighty dollars. You win and here. the brush loses. So this is this could end tragically. It's not the absolute end of the world, but it just sucks. It's going to suck, and uh, I'm going to sit down and eat a sandwich. And, uh... Give, give a pull. 
contemplate. <laughs> Straight pull. Nice. Woo! God, every time. Every time. Every time. We almost, almost jinxed it. It almost feels as good as catching one. <laughs> I haven't caught a fish yet, but I've gotten the A-rig out of some brush about four or five times. It feels like I'm, I'm winning doing that. Um, John's got a six and a four and a one, the double, to start the day. And we're getting those follows. We're just not getting like as many follows as we did yesterday, but it's sort of a, it's a semi-Italian. It's a cold cut combo. I've never had this. Bucky's corn salsa? You're telling me it's... I've actually never had it either. Huh. So Midday mukbang. Midday mukbang. Shout out to Bucky's, not a sponsor. That would be the best. I'd probably pit myself out for Bucky's. I'd wrap my whole truck and boat for like free sandwich card. Could you imagine like a Bucky's card? Like every time you go to Bucky's, you can just fall out. Yeah, like a VIP Bucky's card. Mm -hmm. Bucky's. You don't need any advertising, but we're we're here for you if yeah. you're ready. Being very honest right now, you definitely don't need us. To make any money, <laughs> probably, you'd probably lose money, but it'd be fun. It'd be a fun experiment. Yeah. Just praying to God the CEO of Bucky's is watching this on the toilet right now. Watching it on the toilet. That's where, that's where everyone watches their videos <laughs> on the toilet. Facts. Not a ripple. Not a dad gum ripple. Thanking our lucky stars for yesterday's shenanigans now it's like things are returning to normal and we got high pressure bluebird and uh just gone over so many fish you know nice thing about the scopes you get to study the fish it's torturous at the same time because we're just watching so many of them look at the bait and not want anything to do with it it's kind of like live by the sword die by the sword out here with this uh with this live scope a rigging situation when it's on hang on to your butts and uh, when they go into that cover and don't want to move, sit down on your butt. It's, it's tough. What this part of the video needs is a rackling jingle. It needs a jingle? Inter intermission. It needs a little intermission. I know you guys like my, my little jingle here, so uh, it's kind of weird when I'm like on the spot on camera. I gotta say, it's gotta really, it's, it, comes, it comes when it comes naturally. But uh, we're here throwing a thing. Nothing is happening. It's clear water and a blue sky. It sucks like apple pie that's cold on a Monday morning. I don't know, it's not my best, you know? Dad gum it. When you want to get serious, Real serious, super dynamic. You go with the wool socks stuffed into the camo oh, yeah, pants. That's a look, isn't it? Man, you look like like some Euro soccer uh, situation on the lower lower half right now. Yeah. You just yeah yeah it is it is it's it doesn't have the lines. It's the hybrid species. The mean mouth. I got a mean mouth. This is my biggest mean mouth ever. It's like a three pound mean mouth. Which means that other one could have been a six pound mean mouth, probably. Oh man, it was crazy. That re that explains the schooling. Oh dude, that's sick. That's cool. First one of the, the trip. First one that you've seen in person, I've right? never seen one, yeah. I like looked at it for a second, I'm like, that's not. And dude, when you feel the mouth, it's different. Like, you know you know how the small mouth feel like meaty? Yeah. In their mouth? More, more. Yeah, look at the patterns. Wait, hang on, see if I can get it. Ah, this kind of 100% mean mouth. Whoa, nice job, dude. That's, That's epic. cool. That is so epic. Well, if you're gonna get one, get a rare one, you know? Send her back. 
Nice job. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> I we totally weren't even on that fish. I was looking out. I don't know what happened there. And was, then was I was like, like Whoa! I, it was such a hard hit, dude. I was like, it's a ten, John. It's a ten. Oh, dude, the it's thing is, there, it could have been at any point in time. <laughs> I, I believed. Oh, I believe. Man, that was epic, dude. GoPro, back on. We're flinging chandeliers. Last hour of light of the day before we head back to the trailer park. Rock my world. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Did you eat it? Nope. That worked. That little twitch? Yeah, a little tweak. Still, still coming. Still Ooh, we didn't feel anything. That was weird. Still on it. Still on it. Still on it. Still on it. And well, that's so annoying. Doug, Doug, he's coming he for it. He sees it. He's coming for he it. He sees it. No, he wants it. Want it, don't you? Want it, don't you? Got him. Got him. Got him. Got big one. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. That's a big one. I know it is. I know it is, dude. I know it is. Oh my god. It's in the brush, dude. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. Oh, I'm no. serious. It's a no. big, big one. No. Oh, I think I saw it flash. Oh my god, no. I think we can pull a hook or something. No. Dude, I freaking put the screws to it too. Oh no, dude. Yeah, it's in there. Giant. You want to do it? Yeah. Go on. Wait, I can probably see with the. Yeah, I wouldn't think there'd be that much like thick stuff for him to. That's him, I think. He's going. God, dude. That was enormous. That was enormous. Dude, the rod was like, this thing well, looked like a line, noodle. Your line went. He screamed. That was giant. That was like one of the biggest fish I've, I've ever felt. Like it just, and it started really moving. That was the one bite for the day. Dude, I don't know like what. What I could have done there. I think you just, nothing, you just keep cranking. It's a slow gear ratio reel too, it's a five. Oh no. It's gone. It's gone. I've had one other fish get off like that, that pulled that hard, and that was that choke canyon after I caught that 10. Big dog. And it, I hit it and could, literally could not like get it to move, come up, yeah. yeah. And it uh, it just changed an angle and pulled out. All good. It's all good. Is there? I'm not worried. Can I throw this? Oh no, not yet. Hang on. No. I'm coming out of my funk right now. That was like an eight. Okay. It was, eight. <laughs> it was no eight. I can promise you that. Okay, here you go. You ready? Oh my god. Oh how did he? How did he bite it? God. Like, like a giant swim bait bite. Like, yeah. donk. There's one. There you go. Oh, got him. Got him. Big one? Nope. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. It's a mean mouth. No? no? Is it? No, it's a monkey. <sighs> hey, they're turning on though. This is good, dude. I, like that. I mean, the difference between those two fish yeah. is like yeah. Earth and freaking planet Xenon. <laughs> I had that fish coming to the boat in two seconds. God, I got one, a big one following it. It's big. Oh, God. 
God, it was open open water. He's right under the boat now. Uh, he was far out. I kind of landed on top of him with my cast. But he jutted at it like he was going to eat it. There's one right there. See? Oh, my God. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Just keep, Oh, yeah. You got two. Mm-hmm. Two. Oh, my God. Here comes the other one. Get excited. Yep, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, no. oh my god, those are giants. Those are giants. Those are giants, dude. Oh There's one. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Last spot of the day. Whatever it is. Looks sussy. I'm coming for it. Looks sussy. Right on the dip. Those are bushes where it needs to be. Did you see that? Gizzard. Gizzard. Gizzard just came out. Look, it's getting eaten. It's getting eaten. Seriously? Getting eaten, bud. Seriously? Getting eaten, bud. Look at it. Oh my god. We're getting slapped get, around. Get slapped around? This is good. Right, 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 right in front, right in front of me, right in front of me. Big one. Do right on him. Do right on him, big one. Got him. Fish? Yep. Big one? Nope. Fish? Yep. Oh, good. I got two. No way, that's sick. <sighs> <laughs> two little buddies. Nice. <laughs> on the blind. Power hour. On the blind. It's power hour, baby. <sighs> Found a little nursery hole. Oh, this is kind of a deal here. More like this your spawn for God's sakes. Dude, I got these fish hooked four ways to Tuesday. Need help. I'm trying to. It's been a while since I've double tagged a situation here. There you go. One buddy, two buddy. Released back to the nursery. Those were those were like ten foot deepers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, he's coming up here. Yeah. He's up coming. Up he's always oh, bumping it. They're bumping. They're bumping. Come on, Rackley. This must be the two pounder, Bill. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had another one. They're popping me. I thought the white bass king was about to come out. <laughs> it's like five. Another head. Double heads. Double heads. Pure big helmets. Big helmets coming in. Tire kickers. Are you gonna purchase my premium pro plan? I got five swim baits to come with an extra two. <laughs> Today only. Get them now. <laughs> That's gonna be my last cast. <laughs> that one got away from me. All right, so I'm gonna end my day right there. That was an epic talk. Uh, you, know, you guys can't really see that too well. Let's, let's pump this up here. There's a juicy one right there. That uh, that kind of explains explains my day. So, all right, pack it in. Head back to the trailer park. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, oh my god, it's giant. Yep, giant. Absolutely. Look at the net. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's gone. Oh no! No, 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 no. No. Absolute giants. Bull rushed me. Bull rushed me. Didn't feel a single one. Still there. I'm ready. Oh. Just like last night, just like a pod of three fish. Absolute heartbreak hotel.
cooking it up right, y'all. To end the day. Today was tough, no doubt about it, but at least we were able to get some bites there at the end of the day. Obviously, not the big ones that we were hoping for, but I had the chance. I had the opportunity. I can't believe that fish got away from me. It's going to be haunting my dreams. I really only have a few fish like that that have just, you stick it and it's just so much weight. Uh, and all that brush down there that we saw, it was just a bad circumstance. A lot of it's pretty flimsy, but I think that fish just was close to a harder piece of wood. Got that giant chandelier tangled up in one of those things and then pulled off. So frustrating when you can't get him to bite, but we had such a blessing in the previous video that, you know what? It's back to the grind. That's just normal fishing with it. Here it Jal is. Jalapenos. Yeah, the jalapenos, I took the seeds out and kind of just roast. Oh my God. Or uh, not roast them, but you know. Are you ready? I'm First ready. bite. Rack was up killed last October. There we go. So freaking good. There we go. You know what this is? It's a West Texas meal. It is. That's what it is. It tastes way better in the cold, too. That is amazing, dude. Thank you. I, just, I aim to please. Wow. When you when you come to my camper, you know I'm I'm here to feed you up, get you ready for those mondos. Fish good, eat good, drink good, be good. Yeah, we should start our own guide service. Camp and catch, mobile. Camp and catch, camp cook and catch. <laughs> uh, we just got out of, out of uh, like Louisville. Yeah, <laughs> two months out of the year. Yeah, I'll sling tacos out of my uh, my food truck here, out of this window, <laughs> and uh, we'll get some fishing tips, maybe take you out for an hour or two. <laughs> It'd be actually a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, we're going to shut it down, and then we'll try to do it again tomorrow, guys. You know, this is just part of, part of the fun, getting to enjoy some good meals. We're actually watching the Winter Olympics right now, and the scrambly TV comes in sometimes, you know. Tonight, we got Lonesome Dove. Lonesome Dove DVDs to go with our Western style meal. Good times. We'll try to get after it again tomorrow. Stay tuned for more camping and catching. We'll see you on the next one.